Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another video and today I'm taking a look at the latest snapshot of Minecraft which is 12W40A and the first thing that I wanted to cover was that they removed every single lighting fix that they did uh, last time again so god damn it Mojang why why you finally finally fixed this damn black light bug and now you just throw it all away also the directional uh, lighting is also removed everything is removed again from last week I absolutely don't know why Dinnerbone please please just put it back again moving on <laughs> Um, to something that is right over here and that is the witch's hut and there we have it it is uh, well the place where witches will now spawn um, there doesn't seem to be a witch around here at this moment I think it should be uh, spawning here but it doesn't anyway um, this is it it has a nice flower pot with a mushroom in it and it has these workbench, uh, uh, this workbench and this cauldron which have, have been placed wrongly. Um, I think they should be just on the floor but due, due to a uh, generation bug this happens to every single hut and I assume that this will be fixed next snapshot, maybe even in 12W40B if that will come eventually. Um, also a new thing is in the creative menu for all you lazy people you can now uh, select a block or a get a whole stack by simply pressing a number on your keyboard so if I press 1 while um, having my cursor over the cobblestone I will get a whole stack in my first slot so if I press 5 now on the oak I will get um, f uh, a whole stack of oak wood in the fifth slot so that's how it works and you can uh, actually do whoop, like that and it is just very very useful to um, get a lot of stacks at once otherwise you would have to do this or, uh, um, well, actually you would need to have to shift click like this and then the other one and etc. That would take a whole long time. Well, depends on how lazy you are, but um, this is just quite a bit simpler. Now let's move on to the flat world generation. Oh, and before I forget it, you can no longer left click buttons, levers or doors to activate them. So when I do this, as you can see, I will only be able to break them. Same goes with the lever and same goes with the door. It will not work, you will need to right click now and then it will actually work like it's supposed to. And um, that actually goes for everything, so I actually do like this. It clears up the confusion, you know. So yeah, they've tweaked this as well. Um, you can just customize like usual, but now when you go to presets and I will set overworld. This one is new as well, by the way, the redstone ready preset. But it is not really special, it is just a very thick layer of sandstone with a little bit of normal stone and one layer of bedrock beneath it. Um, not really useful, but I guess it is quite cool if you use redstone a lot uh, for a test world or anything. But um, yeah, moving on again to the overworld. What you can now also create is a decoration and dungeons and mine shafts. You can even do uh, strongholds, so let's do that as well, just for funsies, stronghold. Well, just like that and it's really simple I think these are all of them right now um, but you will just see what this looks like when I generate this new world and there we go now as you can see it is still very flat and stuff but it looks a lot more like a normal plains biome and I think you can also actually uh, get trees and such spawning in here but uh, lakes as you can see work as well and lava lakes and little patches of sand and um, if you go ahead and look for it the uh, uh, stronghold will be here as well since I've added that and dungeons and villages and grass and flowers and reeds and pumpkins and everything will now spawn as well just like in your normal world um, this one also is a lot deeper than the standard flat world as you can see that just works like that as well it's uh, I think just normal 64 or so layers thick there we go 64 indeed and here we have a village so you can see that spawns as well and it is just a really really nice thing because it just makes it a, a lot more interesting but it does not remove the old one you can still use that if you want because uh, well I for one hate the grass when I need to build something or when I really want to use redstone or something this grass is so annoying to remove but uh, you can just leave that out if you want 
and um, I really really do like this new flat world customization and that is about it for the features in this new snapshot another uh, thing was that fire spreading was uh, nerfed a bit more so your whole forest won't burn down when you accidentally uh, light one tree on fire but I don't know it also is pretty cool to start a forest fire but yeah that has been bugged or uh, not bugged nerfed a bit so that won't happen as easily anymore anyway like I said that's about it I will put the link to download this snapshot as always in the description for the rest thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time same goes with the lever as I what the hell just happened there